So this time, the elephant in the room is this guy here. PHP. So many people are saying PHP is dead, but maybe it's undead. Let me know in the comments section. Maybe stick to the topic of the video. Okay, moving along. Let's get into the topic of today's video. No, I think PHP is still very much alive. Rumors of my brush with death are greatly exaggerated. So, I've been asked a few times to compare C Sharp with PHP, so that is exactly what I'm going to do in this video. So let's start with an overview of PHP. But before we do that, let's address the other elephant in the room. This time the elephant in the room represents the question, is PHP even still relevant in 2025? Okay. So here are my reasons why PHP is definitely still relevant in 2025. Massive market share and legacy code bases. PHP powers 75% of websites, including WordPress, Wikipedia, and Facebook's legacy backend. Many businesses rely on PHP-based CMS platforms. WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, and e-commerce solutions. Companies won't easily migrate from PHP to another language due to cost and complexity. I know this one from experience. Companies can be very slow to adopt new technologies, rather electing to stick with what is familiar and reliable until they absolutely have to upgrade. Having said that, modern PHP is fast and secure. PHP 8 Plus introduced JIT compilation, just-in-time compilation, giving PHP a huge performance boost. Stronger type safety, which results in less risk of unexpected bugs, better error handling and debugging and more frequent updates, ensuring security and stability. PHP frameworks make development easier. Modern frameworks like Laravel, Symfony, and CodeIgniter provide MVC architecture for structured code. Built-in security features, CS, RF protection, authentication, ORMs like Eloquent to simplify database interactions, API development support, GraphQL, REST, Cost-effective for web development. It is free and open source, meaning no licensing costs. Shared hosting providers still offer cheap PHP hosting. PHP comes with a low barrier to entry, meaning it is easier for startups and small businesses to adopt PHP. PHP is highly scalable. Websites like Facebook, Wikipedia, and Yahoo started with PHP and evolved. PHP supports microservices and containerization, Docker, Kubernetes. PHP works well with cloud platforms, AWS, Google Cloud, DigitalOcean. PHP integrates well with popular tech, including the database management systems MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, MongoDB. This means PHP has flexible database support. It also integrates well with the following front-end JavaScript-based SPA technologies, React, Vue, Angular which means the combination of PHP on the back end with one of these JavaScript front-end frameworks can be used for the creation of full-stack web applications. PHP also integrates well with REST and GraphQL APIs, which means you can connect mobile apps and third-party services with functionality implemented in PHP on the back end. Although, I would recommend using a technology like .NET for this purpose. PHP developers are still in demand. Many businesses need PHP developers to maintain and upgrade existing systems. There is high demand for WordPress developers for the creation and maintenance of plugins, themes, and customizations. Laravel and Symfony developers are sought after for enterprise applications. Having said all that, when should you not use PHP? For real-time applications, rather use Node.js or Go for WebSockets. For high performance, AI, ML applications rather use Python or Rust for this purpose. For mobile app backends, rather use Firebase, Node.js, or .NET instead. Before we continue, if you like this video so far, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel and please don't forget to ring the bell. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will, of course, be greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Which one of these technologies do you prefer and why? C Sharp or PHP? All comments are, of course, welcome. Your insights are greatly appreciated. 
It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. Right, so now that we know that PHP is definitely relevant in 2025, let's look at an overview of PHP. Then we'll take a quick look at an overview of C Sharp, and then we'll compare these two technologies on their key features. PHP Overview PHP was created in 1994 by Rasmus Lerdoff, initially to keep track of his visitors on his personal website. So initially, just a very basic tool. The complete name at that time was Personal Homepage Form Interpreter. So, PHP FI. Later, Rasmus Lerdoff teamed up with two Israeli software developers, Andy Gutmans and Ziv Saraski and they rewrote PHP FI from scratch to improve its performance, scalability, and functionality. This new version was named PHP 3 and laid the foundation for the modern PHP language. So PHP really began to gain momentum in 1998 with the release of PHP 3. PHP 4 was released, powered by the Zend engine, a significant milestone in PHP's development. The Zend engine was developed by Andy Gutmans and Ziv Saraski, and it provided a faster and more efficient runtime engine for executing PHP code. Let's fast forward to 2020. PHP 8 was released in 2020 with further improvements in performance, including the introduction of JIT, just-in-time compilation. JIT allows PHP to execute code more efficiently by compiling it into machine code, leading to faster execution in certain use cases. Let's fast forward to 2025 to get an idea of the current state of PHP. PHP has continued to evolve and is still widely used for building dynamic web applications. The community around PHP remains active and many popular content management systems, CMSs, such as WordPress, Drupal, continue to be built with PHP. PHP is ideal for developing dynamic web pages, blogs, e-commerce websites, forums, and content management systems. It's also used for tasks like email processing, file handling, and creating APIs. Right, let's look at an overview of C Sharp. C Sharp is a modern, object-oriented programming language developed by Microsoft in 2000 as part of the .NET framework. It is designed for building a variety of applications, including web, desktop, mobile, cloud, and game development. The lead architect behind C Sharp was Anders Halsberg, the renowned Danish software engineer. The .NET framework in 2000 was Windows-centric and could only run on Windows platforms. .NET is now a unified cross-platform software substrate that can run on multiple platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, and many more. c -sharp key features, object-oriented, supports encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, and abstraction. It is strongly typed and requires explicit type declarations, which reduces type-related runtime errors. A core feature of the .NET runtime is garbage collection, which automates memory management to prevent memory leaks. C Sharp is now platform independent and runs on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux via modern releases of .NET. C Sharp supports asynchronous programming through the TAP, Task Asynchronous Processing Pattern, which uses async await for efficient multi-threading. Interoperability works with C++, F Sharp, Visual Basic .NET, and even JavaScript via Blaze's interoperability feature. .NET has built-in security features which help prevent common vulnerabilities. Common uses of C-sharp. Desktop applications, Windows apps using WPF, WinForms, .NET MAUI, which is the direct descendant of Xamarin, enables cross-platform development across desktop and mobile devices. With .NET MAUI, a single C-sharp codebase can be compiled and deployed to run on multiple different types of devices. Both mobile, iOS and Android, and desktop, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Web development, ASP.NET Core for dynamic websites and APIs. Game development, used in Unity to build 2D and 3D games. Cloud computing, Azure-based applications. But also note that .NET apps can be deployed to multiple types of cloud platforms, including AWS and Google Cloud. Mobile apps, cross-platform development with Xamarin, which is now .NET MAUI, machine learning and AI using the ML.NET framework. Right, let's compare these two technologies. Here's a basic comparison of C-sharp and PHP, including syntax usage and key differences. 
Let's start with a basic Hello World example. Let's look at variable declarations, firstly in C-sharp. And now in PHP. Conditionals. Here's an example of a conditional if statement in C-sharp. And here is the PHP equivalent code. Here's an example of a for loop in C-sharp. And the code equivalent in PHP. Here's an example of a method in C-sharp. And here's the equivalent code in PHP. Let's look at an object-oriented programming example in C-sharp. And here is the equivalent object-oriented code written in PHP. Great! So let's look at an overview comparison of C-sharp versus PHP. Execution and environment. C-sharp runs on the .NET Framework or .NET Core for cross-platform development. Since 2020, .NET Framework and .NET Core have been merged into one unified software substrate, which moving forward is simply known as .NET. C-sharp is a compiled language, meaning the code is converted into an intermediate language, IL, and executed by the Common Language Runtime, CLR. PHP is an interpreted language that runs on a web server for example, Apache or Nginx. It is commonly used with LAMP, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, Stacks. General Purpose and Use Case c -sharp is a general purpose object-oriented programming language developed by Microsoft. It is primarily used for developing desktop applications, enterprise software, and game development via Unity. It is also used for web development with ASP.NET, PHP is a server-side scripting language mainly used for web development. It is widely used for building dynamic websites and web applications. Performance. C-sharp is generally faster than PHP because it is compiled and optimized at runtime by .NET. PHP is generally slower than C-sharp since it is interpreted, but it has improved over the years with performance enhancements in PHP 7 and 8. Syntax and programming paradigm. C-sharp is strongly typed, object-oriented, and follows structured programming principles. It supports multiple paradigms, including functional programming. PHP is loosely typed, dynamically interpreted, and mainly procedural, but also supports object-oriented programming. Frameworks and libraries. C-sharp uses the .NET ecosystem, including ASP.NET Core for web applications, WPF for desktop apps, and also .NET MAUI for cross-platform, mobile and desktop apps, and Unity for game development. For PHP, popular frameworks include Laravel, Symfony, and Code Igniter, which simplifies web application development. Database support. Both languages support a variety of databases, including MySQL, Postgres, and Microsoft SQL Server. But c -sharp has strong integration with MS SQL Server, while PHP is commonly used with MySQL. Platform dependency. c -sharp was originally Windows-centric, but with .NET Core, it supports cross-platform development, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. In 2020, with the release of .NET 5, .NET Framework and .NET Core were merged together into one software substrate that is now called .NET. So it is now a unified platform. PHP is platform independent and runs on various operating systems, mainly Linux-based web servers. Job market and demand. c -sharp is in demand for enterprise applications, game development, and cloud solutions, Azure. 
PHP is still relevant for web development, especially in small to medium businesses and content management systems, CMS, for example, WordPress. Community and popularity. C Sharp is popular among enterprise developers, Windows developers, and game developers. PHP is widely used in web development, powering many websites, including WordPress. Learning curve. C Sharp is more structured and has a steeper learning curve due to strong typing and advanced features. PHP is easier to pick up for beginners, but can become complex when dealing with large applications. So which one should you choose? If you're interested in web development, PHP, especially with Laravel, is a good choice. But I would say frameworks like ASP.NET Core, MVC, Razor Pages, and Blazor are excellent web frameworks. If you want to work on enterprise software, desktop applications, cloud computing, or game development, C Sharp is definitely the better option. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel and please don't forget to ring the bell. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Which of these two technologies, C Sharp or PHP, do you prefer and why? All comments are of course welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care. Many businesses rely on PHP-based CMS platforms. WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, 